Greetings and welcome to Dyson Sphere Online. I'm Degree, and today we continue our let's play of this awesome game where we last episode just got our fourth science up and running. Uh, in today's episode, we need to go on a bit of a resource grab on a different planet because, as you can see, a lot of our belts is starting to lack a bit, one of those being silicon. So, um, now that we luckily have our intern our international interstellar logistics station we will be able to just set that up to request high pure silicon from a different planet like through remote demand and uh, then we're good to go so um before we do all that do remember to like and subscribe it helps me out a lot i know about 24 percent of you watching are subscribed to my channel so we can bump that up a small amount if we are good so, without the way, let's uh, get on with today's episode. So, um, after you hooked up the science in the last one, I noticed that our processing is, uh, to say it the least, extremely slow. And that's because this is lacking high pure silicon. So, um, why don't we just grab a bit of fuel? Um, I do want to make some better fuel, so uh, one thing, we can take some of this just for now and put it in, just as temporary one, but I also want to grab some uh, hydrogen to make some, uh, what's it called? Hydrogen fuel cells. I think they are a bit faster and a bit better, so we could spend some travel time just doing some of these before we go into that one. Deuterium fuel cell? Let's look at 600 megajoules. And we are actually very, very close to be able to make it. Can we actually make it? Hmm. We should quite easily be able to make that. Okay, I'll probably set that up after we've uh, gone to the other planets and just uh, picked up a few things. Now let's just craft the maximum we can of this, just to have some for the trip back. What we need to bring is a few miners, and we need to bring that's enough miners, and we need to bring a few uh, smelters. Maybe a few more. Let's give me that. And uh, let's see if we can't drop off some of the things we have too much of. Uh, for some reason we have a ton of plastic. Could in theory just add in uh, a chest where we uh, just throw it in. We require plastic right here, so please take all of this junk. Junk, but you can empty out the inventory. So what if we take some of this and uh, go for a little trip to another planet? And maybe just leave a junk chest here with some of it. That I don't really need to move around with. So let's see here. You can go here for now. We'll move you in the future. Don't need that. Sales, no. That one, no. And the rest, I think, is somewhat. That's some science, you can go in here. That one, gray receiver is fine. So I think something like that might actually be good in terms of having uh, what we need to at least get something going. Might actually need to get some accumulators and some solar as well. Uh, move there. We can get the silicon on the planets. We can bring the copper and we can bring the electronic circuits and then we'll just craft a ton at one of the poles. I think that would be a great way to uh, to do it. So please give me all of you. And uh, let's go on a little trip to our other planet. Let's see, if we go up here, where is it at at the moment? I want to go to that one. I think that's the one we, we are going for. Oh yeah, and let's uh, remember to start our science again. Oh, can we start that when we're in space? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so going towards this one, and as a tiny ingot production, we should have some spaceships going past us as we go. Logistic vessel trying to catch up with us, not as fast as us, as us but uh, that's fine. Let's get a bit more speed. We should be able to charge your power here anyway. A nice Dyson Swarm, generating some power for this one and for the planets. Let's see here. 
Will that be a bit before we're there still? Come here, planets. I'm gonna crash land into you. <laughs> and then we will be quite good. So solar sail life. Well, that's gonna well, save us a ton of resources and start to generate more power. Uh, can you go away so I can actually see what I'm doing? Yeah. And let's hit this one. There goes the titanium ingots. That is perfect. And hopefully it's slow down when we hit this. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a pretty hard landing. We need to go up here. To our little setup. Do we just need to find some silicon? Oh, you are not keeping up anymore. Look at that. But you are filling you... We're not even filling you up fast enough anymore. But, uh, yeah. Let's get this emptied out as well. Just to empty this. That should actually be fine. Is it a power issue? That you're not running fast enough? That seems fine. So, in theory, let's just get you emptied out. Just take one. Or two, and then slowly do that. And then always make sure we have a full belt going in. So let's see, silicon, iron, titanium, uh, don't we have some silicon here? Ah, there we go, silicon vein right next to us. That is perfect. That's, it could actually be in the best spot, that's a perfect spot. So we will be able to set up what we need this way. I'll, I'll do it that way because it's rather going away though with curves, so we don't have these bends in the in construction area. Let's see here. Let's get some gatherers down first. How many do we need? Probably do it with three. So one, two, and the third over here will probably be fine. They are allowed to overlap a small amount. They'll just make it mine a bit faster. Get some belts. And let's just see where we do want to set it up. Mining can go this way. Could very do that for all of these. So what if we actually do it here across the lava? But that also gives us room to fill up one more titanium if we want to get that in. And I might want to do that. So let's see here, please fill in the lava, that's going to cost us a small amount. Just to get you filled in. So that's about 400k, so it's not too bad. You guys, please. Let's see if we do one here and there. Then we'll set you to do high purity silica. And you can do one per second. It means we can only supply six unless we upgrade to the better belts, then we can supply 12. So one, two, three. Oh, is that really all we can supply? That feels like nothing. Oh wait, yeah, we'll do it on the outside, then we do one full built in. So it is still 12 we'll have to get. Because we can supply six on each side. There we go. That'll give us one full belt going out, as long as we have a full belt, or two full belts going in. And I plan on having just that. So you can go here and there to power it. We will do our... What a splitter! I'll supply two of them and then we'll have two in. That might actually be the easiest way to do it. Just have a splitter right there. Because then we can actually up, get you in. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. We'll have you go to the sides. So you'll go to here and down. Here and down. Then we need to hook this one up. Of course, we need to grab... Could three get two in if we wanted to. For now, let's just do one. Will that be good enough this way? Could also just set it to go on this side. Instead, so what if we do... Okay, I have a plan. It's gonna be good? Mm, maybe. 
to here and then to there. If that will go in, then this one will go to the opposite side. Then we'll see how much we produce. I need to learn how to make a balancer though, of all the inputs. The new up right to that one. To be honest, let's let's do this for now. I just want to make see if we can fill uh, one of these. Then don't filter it. Just let it go both sides. Let's grab some power. Let's see where is the closest power pole so we can get one. I want to go smelting that way, so it might be good doing one. Do it right next to these, probably. We can do one right here. Do it here as well. Go this way, and that should connect it all up has power going for you. It means we should start mining. How is the power looking? Still fine. We are mining 213. That's about 400 something. About 600. So we can almost do two belts. And this right here just needs to be upgraded to one that's twice as fast. There we are. But then we should be able to get in from both of them and then this will split it out evenly on both sides. That should solve the issue we have. So now for a bit of power. You can go there and there. Might need one over here as well. Just to make it look a bit pretty. And time to get some high purity silicon, please. Right here, you'll go there, there. And then we are starting to get into the thick of it. Yeah. That should be a quite nice supply we can have going out. And that should consume everything we have from over here. Don't like how it's breaking though. That might be because of the speed. So what if we give you a bit faster here? Would that work? Just have the, the merging being co complete. Oh wait, this is actually producing much faster than... Right, we'll, we'll see if it, it works out now that uh, things are moving. It won't, we have too much production here. We will have to upgrade this one as well. That is completely fine. Fortunately, it's not the easiest thing to upgrade yet. That will, of course, change in the future patch. So, there we are. That should make sure that we can consume everything that we are getting from over here. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now just to drag it over to our little setup over here. You can just go on one belt, that is still the only thing we need. And you can go to about here and in. Now you supply high purity silicon as well, remote supply, local supply. So that means as soon as this gets 200, we should see we have uh, this deliver it. And then we have to watch our power as well. That is not looking good. <laughs> These are running, but uh, yeah, it's not, it's not perfect. Yeah, we were going to grab... That's right, I just remember what we had to do. We had to grab these. Because then we can actually produce a lot of uh, solar panels. Wasn't that the plan? Let's see. Oh, a lot. We can produce 20. Then we'll see. How is the axis in this one? Rotating compared to the sun. Uh, might be best up here, and we have some solar generation already. 
not solar, but we have some power generation. So what if we add in a bit of solar? We're just flickering a bit of power generation. That was to be expected. Oh yeah, solar is way better. It's 137. If you look at this wall, and right there, wind is not as good, but solar is very, very good. So getting solar panels down is the best call. We could also start to mine some copper here in case you want to have a production going. Yeah. There, there. That's good. Let's move up one further this time. Look at all that delicious solar power. And doing at the poles is by far the best place to do it. Because then they have pretty much the whole day just uh, doing the thing. And look at the power generation now. Way better. And this should be able to just keep going. So um, while that is getting transported back to our main hub, let's look at some more research. Uh, not looking for that one yet. To be honest, I actually want to get this one. So we can start to mine gas giants. I think that could be a cool thing to do. Maybe in the next episode. I think that could be cool. Also vertical, we can actually, oh, that's expensive. That's for launching parts of the Dyson Sphere components. So we can start to build this. Not just with the, what's it called, the swarm. No, As the launch of the Dyson Sphere node increase, its service stress distribution will become more and more complicated. More difficult to maintain the balance of its stress systems. Oh, okay. That sounds uh, rather cool to get. Uh, yeah, let's get some of these unlocked as well. That'll go into some kind of wave thing over here. And we are researching you as well. Anything in here? Over lineage, mecha fuel. Solar cell life would actually be quite good to get the same with this one. That would generate a lot more power. Wow, they can they can stay alive forever if we do this. Well, it'll give us uh, what's called 10 minutes more when all three of these are unlocked. 300 seconds plus 150 plus 150. That's quite cool. Solar ray. Small. Might as well queue a few things. Cargo sorting. Oh, that means we can start to get the uh, third one to be a bit faster. Or, uh, sorry, take more items at a time. Increased lab research speed. That's not needed at the moment. We can't even supply it with our current uh, production. So this should supply everything we need going forward and you are all being transported you can see our ships are gone 5 out of 10 so maximum turns for 10 at a time actually good to know what's the upgrades for it in here as well to make it bigger that's flight speed drone 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 don't know if this one for the high one. Okay, let's let's stick with that for now. So let's go back to our main world. Now that we have silicon, we'll need to add that into the bus. And then we should be quite good. Yeah, and there's no need to set up anything else because look, we are consuming everything we can produce here. So uh, that is perfect. Please take these back need it and up up and away wow, we're burning through that quite fast 
So let's see. Let's go home. I don't think there's anything we miss on this one. Uh, right there. Let's see. We could go look at one of the other ones, just explore a bit, but I want some better fuel before doing that. So let's just wait for that for a second. You can't go this way. High pure silicon. Thank you for delivering that to my processing area. So while we're flying, this one will enable us to gather things from the gas giant. I think that might be a good way to get close to infinite power because if you can tap the fuels from that one, that's going to be a, a lot, a lot of things. Let's check. What do you have? You just have collectible hydrogen. Oh, it collects deuterium as well. Okay, we, we need to go and we need to grab that. That is most definitely the goal for this. Uh, or for next episode, maybe gathering that. I wouldn't be against that because we still need to put up the silicon back at this planet. And then we'll start to gather some gas and build a nice power grid. Thank God we can't take damage from doing that. Uh, where is our boss? Oh, we have. Okay, that makes sense. We have enough belts, it's fine. So let's see if we have any high purity silicon flowing in. Right now it's going right here. What I'm thinking of doing is uh, just adding it in on the same layer, but reversing these one to go back backwards instead, since most will come in from this one. So I'll show you a, a neat little trick. Firstly, let's go to right here, and I'd like to stop that one. This one will have impropriety from uh, that one. So when we have things going the other way, take from here first so we empty out the small amount we are producing here, or just turn it into stone. One of the two. That's you. I'd like to continue. To oh. right here, we have to make sure that all of it is going to be the correct place afterwards because we are needing some down this way. You're fine. And do we need to take it up further than that? No, that seems fine that we're doing it right here. So now we just need to connect them in. Uh, let's see, can we do it right here in this middle mess? It has to be on... Isn't it just this one? Yes, so we should pretty much just connect it up here. So if I change you to... One of these. And then take it from over here at that height and take it in. I think we should be good. So let's try that. Can I get it to the height I want it to? might want to take it from here and around just to make it a bit easier to connect it in because it is right here at the moment. Let's just check, can we go up as high as I want? So it will be that one. And let's see. If I do it here, I'll be able to. And then you will go directly into that one. That will add high pure silicon in larger quantities to our main bus. And from here we can shift it around. So you'll go to there. And you will go to right over here where it's actually needed. Of course with impropriety from down the line. That should be good. And that's the power of the boss as well. You can go both ways if you want to add something on the middle. Doesn't matter. 
only re uh, point with this is a bad thing to do is if you build up both sides of the main bus. That will limit you in some ways uh, once in a while if you want to go back down the bus. But in this case, it's uh, completely fine since we're building on one side of the bus. And the last little connecting up there. So look at that. That is mighty fine. That will slowly split out, going to wherever it's needed. We should now have more than enough uh, hybrid silicon going in. That will go into right here. You'll start to make more microchips. We can probably expand out the production here, because right now we're producing 22 per minute per minute. Per minute. This one requires... This is going to require 30 minutes. So it's not quite enough. If I unlock the orbit collector, you can now use it to collect the resource on the gas giant. Or will consume the collected fuel to maintain the energy needed to work. So consume some fuel and the rest we can uh, probably transport back to our homeworld. I think that's uh, the way it works. So let's just get you out the way. Let's expand this one out. Because I know we'll need a lot of this. So if we do 8, that's a 200% increase. Or 300% increase, to be honest. But that's another one of those colliding with an object. Do we have... Why is that? Oh wait, it's because of the oh, it's the water under the other one as well. Is that what goes wrong? I'll have to go and check that. There's still something. There's some water, but that doesn't matter on uh, on these, right? At least it shouldn't. But let's just test to be sure. This will cause us a small amount of view. Let's try again. Look, now it's fine. So it might just be something under it that's just uh, messing with it. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, do comment if you know. That's colliding with something again. What is going on? Let's, now we can't have any issues, can we? Now it's colliding with that, but we are not moved in in any way, shape or form. Or is that just turned a small amount? Then I have to do it here. That is weird. But it might just be turning a small amount. That might be the reason why this is happening. I'll have to do some more research on that because it's not it doesn't really make sense to be honest so all of you yeah let's get you Two, one, two. We'll have to travel a bit further. Luckily, can reach. Uh, what's the input looks like? Two seconds for two. Yeah, it should still. It shouldn't matter. We are still quite good in terms of uh, what we need. Does this one will do a half? And this one will do one. Ooh, that's not going to be fast enough. We'll have to upgrade you to the next tier, otherwise you won't be able to keep up. There we are. In theory, moving this over and doing the other one would actually be best. There we are again, look, that stupid colliding with an object. Oh well. And take you back. It is probably just the curvature of the Earth that's doing it. 
But we'll just have to work around that. There we are. And then a bit of power. Here, here, and there. That should produce a lot more view. Then we should probably make more room here as well. Let's pick up you. Let's expand these out as well. Plus 22 per minute. That gives us pretty much two per... Oh. One per half second. This requires... One per 0 0.6 seconds. So... Uh, Two to one, it's, it's not going to be a perfect ratio. We need a bit more of these than we have of these. So I'll just uh, kind of expand it out. Just to get it going. Gear wheels. Let's go and grab some. Right here. Oh, something is missing power. We we'll placed it one too far up. That's just. I did the same over here. That annoys me a small amount. My OCD don't like that. Let's just change these around so it actually looks correct. It's such a small thing, but uh, I do notice it. And that is. Uh, Pulse enough for me to do this, so it has to be there. There. It's fine on that one. And then we can continue over here as well. And hopefully, I mapped it out. That seems much better. So now we're consuming high purity silicon. Hopefully it can go all the way to the end. We do require one per second. Oh, one per second. I mean, we should to be able to supply six of these. Wait, oh, it's sorry there. Yeah, one per second. That means we can only supply one. And that's almost all the production we have as well. So uh, just increase the belt speed won't help unless we go to uh, the other planet and increase our throughput. Look here if we go at high purity, it's a bit more than uh, wait, not local plan. I want to do entire star cluster. We are producing a bit more than one per second, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, pretty much one per second is what we're producing. This one is using one per second, but if things are backing up, of course, then we'll go to the end. So we have the capacity to do a lot more, but we don't have the throughput. And that's why sometimes it's very important to look at your uh, your inputs. Otherwise, you can overbuild like this when you actually don't have the resources to support it. But just for future proving ourselves a bit, let's just continue doing a small amount of overbuilding. And then we'll have a look at what's going on down the line. If anything else is overly lacking at the moment. Take you to there. And you. You'll go there, there, and when issue with space don't like it one bit look how crooked it is Ugh. but there we are that is all of this flowing now it's just if this can keep up but we are consuming a lot the same with green circuit seems to be the next issue but uh, now we're getting into the sort of point where we're spending so much on research, we have to make sure that our supply lines are uh, are catching up. That means we'll have to expand out some of them to keep our research going. 
But to be honest, I think this is a pretty decent place to stop right here in the middle of our main bus. Uh, so glad with the main bus design. I've gotten a ton of good feedback as well from you guys saying that if you just organize in the beginning and plan, it makes the end game oh, further on so, so much easier. So uh, think of that. That is a very, very good point. Just plan and all the headache is gone. So um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Hopefully you're enjoying this kind of, uh, me playing this kind of way. At least enjoying making it. So uh, do remember to like and subscribe. Come join us in Discord. Thank you for everyone that have supported me on Patreon as well. It means a lot. And with that, I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.